Okay, is it recording? Okay, yep, yeah, thanks recording. Oh, look into the light. Hmm. Can't really see anything in there, but anyway, you join me, cool dude Clem, here in the shed again. Because somebody on YouTube will not stop pestering me about making a video about the stuff on here. So, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm recording this in virtual dub. Let's see how that comes out. Because UCAM is a piece of crap, so I'm using virtual dub to record this, so hopefully it will come out a lot better. Anyway, this is the stuff on the shed. I mean... The stuff on the shelf and thing. We're going to take a closer look at it, obviously. Hopefully, there's enough light for the camera to see it. Um, so I think we ought to start with up here. Well, we've got the books and the Ripley's, believe it or not, books and a, something about my Wii U. And just stick that up there. The Simpsons book. The book. I probably shouldn't talk so loud because of the sensitivity of this webcam's microphone. Oh look, I've got one of the fronts of those butt ugly speakers. I hope I'm pointing the camera at it. I can't really see what I'm shooting at the moment because the laptop's all the way over on the other side. I have no idea what's in this box, or even if I can get this open, it's probably just books. Because we put a lot of books in, in there. I cannot see what's in this box. Hopefully the camera can see it. Yeah, there's something in there. I'm leaning back so I can see the screen right now. I think that's just books. It's too dark in there to really see what's in there. So sorry about that. Actually, I'm going to see if I can adjust my camera's exposure and I'll be right back. I've had to revert back to using UCAM because I found out that Virtual Dub screwed up the sound. So, hopefully there's enough light in order to be able to see this. Also, I don't know how loud the sound is, so it's probably either blasting your sound system or barely audible. I've got no way to test how loud it's actually coming out. I can hear some idiots outside. <laughs> anyway, this is the stuff. Now, if I actually step into this side of the camera, hopefully that will let a little bit more light in so we can see what we see. I mean, you can see what I can see. Well, you know what I mean. I've kind of lost my train of thoughts, but... So, let's see what we got up here. Speaker. Mm. Something or other, I don't know where that's from. Oh, and uh, there's that old radio that I tried to fix and failed. Yep, still got that. One day I might try to return to that and see if I can do anything with it. Got more speakers down here. From the electrophonic sound system thingy. Now don't show me because I'm too ugly to show on camera. This camera will not stop swinging around. I don't want my ugly face showing on the camera. It will break the lens. So, anyway, these are pretty nice speakers. Nice looking speakers, but not necessarily nice sounding speakers. I did try to upgrade one of them. By putting some fiberglass insulation in, but it didn't really do the trick. Didn't really make them sound any better angle grinder here. Doesn't have a cutting disc in it. I don't know what's in this bag. Oh. Videotapes. Am I pointing the camera at it? Yeah, I'm pointing the camera at it. 
It's just that webcams don't have a screen on them, so I'm having to rely on my laptop. Looking at what's showing up on my laptop to know where I've put the camera, so uh, yeah. Some kind of duffel bag in there with something in it. I don't know what the hell that is. And in here, what do we have in here? I have no idea what we've got in here. Um, some kind of wheel or something. That's a bit like the one of those wheels that goes on kids' bikes. Is that a wheel? Does it even turn? Oh, yeah, it is. Goodness only knows what that is. Probably something Dad made a long time ago. For a train or something, I don't know. And in here, there's nothing really interesting. Just books and stuff. Move that out of the way. As you can see, just boring books. And books are boring. Internet is so much better. There's something with a light up there, I don't know what that is. Oh, there's one of my little gadgets and gizmos I made. This little thing. That's an impedance matching circuit for a ceramic pickup. So you can plug one end into a ceramic pickup, and the other end goes into the line input of an amplifier. And it sounds really, really good. And it uses tubes! Early 1940s tubes, to be exact. So, I've got a little tape recorder here, a little cassette recorder, look, tapes going like they do in a car stereo. Do you remember that time when car stereos actually had tape decks in them? Because I sure do. I must be getting old. But I love tape. It's my favourite format. I like mini disc and uh, MP3 as well, but tape is my favourite because it's just so convenient and easy to use. Talking of which, I've got another cassette deck up here. So this is one of the Technics cassette decks I've got. And of course the other Technics cassette deck is down there somewhere. So that's about all I can really show you regarding this stuff. Well, on this level anyway. I mean, I've got a printer here, another box of books. Um, oh, I've got a boombox here, which I was repairing. I just need to put the back on, back onto that. It's a nice boombox though, from the 80s, you might have seen this before, I just need to do a little bit of a service to it. It's too nice to part out though. Don't know what all this stuff is down here, so don't even ask, there's one of those butt ugly speakers, and some engine parts. Looks like they're from a motorbike or something. And that's about all there is to show you. Anyway, another thing that I ought to say about is this Mac. Now, I know there's somebody who wants this, but I told him it doesn't work, and I'm not lying. There really is something that's going on with it, which I will go and show you now. So this is that Mac. It does come on and play the Mac chime, but you get nothing on the screen and no sign of it even booting up. And I know I don't have a keyboard or anything connected to this, but just to show you that I'm not lying, 
But this thing doesn't work. So I can hear a hard drive going. And something that sounds like the disc spinning, but nothing on the screen. Absolutely nothing there. I mean, we've been going back and forth on the internet trying to figure out this problem. But just cannot figure it out. At all. Also, I've noticed that the screen makes some arcing light noises. So, it wasn't doing it this time, but it did do it earlier when I tried to make this work. So, I guess that's it for this video.